Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Seven Phonics Channel. Today we're gonna be building the real gray talkies free. So I bought this from Little Robot around October or November, and uh, it just left in my pile of boxes, and I never really, you know, dig it out and then start building. So today I decided to give some love to him. As you, as I said, I'm one. I'm the talkies man as well, so that's why I have one, two, three bought, and gotta say that. Talk is free. I'm really happy to see it got a revived version because if you, if in case you don't know, the other talkies that you know we built before might be the very old, very old version where it have like scale problem, coloring problem, and it doesn't look very good. Now nowadays we have a real great revived version, and I gotta say that Talk is free will be always my favorite talkies, and I gotta say that. Man, I'm so excited to build this. So now I'm gonna open up the runners first. Now let's take a look on what's inside. So first we can see this brand new printed instruction manual, Hog is free. And then, you know, we're just gonna quickly flick through this. So we can see that that's not actually too much part that got left out. You know, we're just gonna quickly look at everything. Now there you go, that's just basically it. So now we're looking at the decals right here and then looking at the color guy right here. Zex Marquise. Yep, done. Yep, so now we're gonna start looking at the runners. A runner, so this is from the original Tokis. Uh, we have like so much parts right here. We have the side skirt, back skirt, backpack, and then some parts of the arms as well. Beam saber effect parts. K1, the antenna. K2, the clear piece for the head. B runner, the inner frame of the Togis. E1 runner from the original Togis runner. It is mainly used on the head and the backpack and also some part of the torso as well. C1 runner, side skirt and a backpack. The E2 runner, so it's mainly used on the legs and also some part of the arms as well. And we also have the beam saber as well. C2, so mainly using on the legs, on the shoulders, the torso, and then that's basically it. J runner, a new runner and one of the parts fall out as well. Uh, it is, all these part here is for the heat rod. This is a heat rod the pilot figure and then we have the shoulder part, new shoulder part right here. And then I'm not sure the bottom part was what these parts are for. E1 runner, we can see some legs part, we can see some beam saber, we can see the waist part as well. And then this is the head part too. So that's basically it. F part, we can see some inner frame of the MS, we can see some hands option right here. And then we can see the the uh, ro robotic arms for the shield and for the uh, Mega Beam Cannon as well. G1, G2 Runner, but I'm gonna take G1 as an example because they're basically the same. So we can see that all kind of in frames of the uh, Torgis as well. We can see the original circle shield right here, which which we definitely not gonna use it this time. <clears throat> and then we can see multiple fluster, the inner frame of the backpack. We can see some skirt armor right here as well, and that's basically it. Basically, all these parts here is just serve as an inner frame of the Torgis Free. Eye runner, the new runner of the Torgis Free. So we can see the new shield, the Mega Beam Cannon parts. So we can see the head part right here. We can see the new shield inner, the new inner shield, the Mega, Mega Beam Cannon parts, and that's basically it. We have this wire right here is for you to uh, assemble the heat rod. Decals, uh, that's not really that much because Torgi series uh, RG don't really have that much decal and don't have that much marking. So that's basically it. So we went through every single thing. Let's jump into the review. Hey guys, welcome back to the review of the RG Torgis 3. So this is the finishing of the Torgis 3. If you are an old friend, which have like a very old version of the Torgis 3, the high grade, really sucky one at the 90s, you are very you are gonna be thrilled to see this finish because as I mentioned it before for all the Torgis video, first I'm a personally I'm a really big fan of Torgis. I really like the Torgis design, so that's why I bought all three of the premium Man Knight. And because the frame of the Torgis 3 is actually 
really nice so this time we won't see much problem about like reusing the old frame this time because the dog the Torgis free frame itself is already very good so there's not much issue about it basically for this premium and that what you will see uh, about the appearance changes will just mainly focused on the shoulders and the head and weapons that's basically it so most of the part contain the same Torgis parts right here so if you're talking about like, is there anything new about the premium band? I would just say around like 30 or 40% is new. Uh, other than that, it still use the same mold, same parts as the Torquies itself. And this time, I gotta say that as a person who's seen the very sucky 90s version Torquies 3, I think this RG is a must buy if you don't have the MG. And speaking of MG, MG is not really worth it anymore because, uh, well, I mean, it still have its value, but what I mean is worth it is, um, would you rather to spend like $200 like without shipping to get a MG Torquies 3 or would you rather to spend less to get like a, a very small, a, a smaller version, RG version Torquies. I mean, the RG version is not that bad. It's just, People really like the MG version, but the MG version is seriously in a really ridiculous price. So if you never have a master grade Togis free, I would suggest you, if you're a fan of Togis as well, just buy the RG version. It's way cheaper. And I I mean, it doesn't look bad. So if you don't have the MG version, I definitely recommend you to get this RG. First, as usual, we're gonna look at the head. So this time the head, the front is different, the back is still using the same design as the Torgi, so I mean the same mode. And for this time, we can really see that um, this head right here, it is pretty exaggerated for this kind of blue piece uh, flying out, it really catching your eyeballs. And then for the front antenna right here, uh, if you guys a hardcore Gundam fan, you will notice that it looks like Shah as Nabu's mask, because for those of you who don't know, Zex Marquis is actually based on Sars a shot as Nabu, so that's why it have the mask on the Togi's free as well. It's kind of like a tribute to the first good old mask man right there. And this time, surprisingly, RG required us to repaint. So you see those falcon guns at the side of the head right there. It's supposed to be gold or yellow or something, some some kind of color near that. Um, this time, RG didn't give you an extra part. They just tell you to rep repaint it. So if you're someone who have time and who have the skill, you can repaint it. Uh, for me, I'm just. I'm just fine with the white. And for the movement right here, it is the same, just like all the tall geezers. It can move 360, but re it can't really lift up or down because there's no initial joint inside the leg. Now, we are gonna take a look at the torso right here. So the torso is exactly the same, like all kind of tall geese that I built before. Uh, it's nothing changes except for the color. So it still features the same thing as all the tall geese right here. The cockpit right here still can be open, it's just, having nothing in there, so it's really hollow. And other than that, there's actually not much special for this uh, torso right here. So the, f the thing is, um, there's, a, there's, a jo there's a lock right here at the back, just like the unicorn. Once you unlock the, um, the lock right here, you can, move, you can really extend your Togi's movement front to back as well. So it kind of, it kind of you know, feels like very good and uh, for side-by-side -side movement, it's still having the same problem like the Torgis, which is very tight. So I'm really afraid to turn the torso. Now, let's take a moment to look at the arms right here. So we can see that this time, the shoulders is absolutely different. It's bigger, it looks really buffed, and I really like this design. Yes, I liked it. And this time right here, you can see that this time the shoulder piece right here is way, way, way larger than the Torgis that we built before. Uh, it still features the same thing, but this time the movement is not as good as the other Torgis because uh, the armor size is increased, so which means it will kind of affecting the overall articulation. Uh, so we're just gonna quickly briefly looking at this. So articulation moving around 360 is absolutely fine. Lifting up is not really that fine because um, the shoulder piece right here is actually getting in the way, so the lifting part is not really that uh, amazing anymore. It still have a very, it still have this kind of uh, sliding design inside the shoulders where you can lift the where you can lift the arm furthermore. Uh, the bending angle is exactly the same like the Torgis, so I'm not bothering to mention it again. 
and for the spin around on the arms it's pretty smooth as well it still features these uh the kind of like a lock-in design inside the arm so when you're spinning your arms uh you will never able to pull it out because once you snap it in it will lock inside and you will never able to pull your arm again unless you spin back to this specific spot so this is a very stabilizing design i like it and for the hands uh, for the hands option down here it's just we have this fist hand right here or we can have this uh open hand right here or you can have this uh, beam saber holding hand right here or you can have this uh, weapon holding hand right here for you to hold the shield or hold the mega beam cannon now i want to look at the waist part first so the waist part right here it features the same thing just like most of the rg it have this kind of moving side to side technique right here so for you to pose uh freely as well and then now uh the front skirt right here is still movable it still features the same thing just like every kind of togies where you lift up the front skirt and this kind of bottom thruster will fly out from the uh fly out from the armor uh i st until this day i still don't know what that for us to do so please tell me if you know it and for the side skirt right here it is a very free movement right here and although it is a ball joint because it's uh it's built inside to the piece so it's really hard for you to pull out and then you know fly out again so this so this time the ball joint is really stable and the side skirt right here we can open to see more details inside the side skirt and flip it to the back skirt right here uh, if i just move the thrusters away uh, the back skirt right here still feature the same thing where you can open and you can see the details inside the back skirt you can see the thrusters in there and uh, the top of the thruster right here is actually a ball joint so you can move to whatever the uh, whatever position that you want now looking at the legs right here so the legs because it's exactly the same like all the torgies so there's not much difference so i'll just go like very briefly about the articulation so first it features the kind of initial joint for you to fix uh to you know uh change the legs position first kicking to the front is really easy you can see that this time is wide so we can clearly see the the details at the feet and then we know kicking to the back kicking to the back is uh possible as well because the back skirt can lift a little bit so kicking to the back is around like this and then you know kicking to the side is absolutely fine 90 degrees beautiful and then you know bending uh, bending is uh, amazing as well you can bend it to this kind of angle right here and this hole right here is for you to plug the side skirt there's a ball joint in there for you to uh, to fix your uh, legs position but i will never use that because one is very hard to plug it in and two i don't think it looks beautiful either so i never really use that feature just to let you know uh, there's a this kind of feature right here and then the feet down here we can slightly move side to side uh, the tip of the feet can be adjusted as well so that's basically all the uh, all the kind of articulation that you need to know but actually i want to say that the torque is free it looks really uh, really blend what i mean by blend is it looks really white for those of you that can't really accept this kind of color i suggest you you can put spray a little gray on it to make it like a color difference so you can you can you know get rid of that really white feeling for the thruster let's first look at the movement first so first we can lift up and then you you can move the thrusters around and there's the bottom joint right here for you to adjust the uh thruster position furthermore so uh really though it depends on you which position do you like you just adjust it to that position until this day i'm still like very fun to play with this kind of torgi's thruster design because this thruster right here is really impressive it's, it's like it's like it's really impressive because until this day i still remember the first day that i pull out the thruster and then you know having all kind of parts just automatically slide out like this like oh my god like look at this like you can really see the details inside the thruster as well until this day i'm still very happy about how this thruster how this thruster is going to pull out so basically it's pretty simple you, you just open this kind of side uh, thrusters right here and then you just pull down this piece right here and it will automatically open the whole thing for you i still like this design until this day it's really good and i really want to say that uh, i hope ben and i do this kind of design more and more on the rgs now we are going to cover all the accessories for this torgis v right here so first we have this uh zix marquis figure right here uh it will be appear as the preventer wind version so take a close look at this so this will be the preventer wind version 
and then next we'll have the shield right here this shield right here is completely new i like this shield design and i really like the decals design on it as well and you know it's still having the same thing where it can you can uh you know rotate the beam sabers out and then just take it it still have that kind of same feature so i'm not gonna you know go very detailed about it and there's a handle down at the shield right here so in case you want to hold the shield by hand the beam saber effect part to go along with you to you know uh for you to plug into the beam sabers i curve one of them for me to uh you know shoot the photos later so just basically like that and then at the tip right here this time the main thing about the shield is this heat rod right here but this heat rod uh is it needs to be uh, switched around if you want to pose it to be extended so this is the extend version uh but i want to talk about a couple of things about this extend heat rod right here so this heat rod is actually formed by a wire a very soft a very soft wire first when you slide in the parts it it's very difficult to slide in so you need to take your time and you need to have the patient to be sliding in piece by piece very slowly do not rush it because the wire have a plastic service if you damage the plastic service you might not able to complete the whole slide in process for the hip rod so you really need to take your time take your patient you know one piece by one piece and make sure you look at the spot before you slide the pieces in because you don't want to damage the wire but after you finish the whole thing it looks pretty good you can bend to like whatever angle that you want it's really nice and we also have a ball joint right here at the tip of the hip rod right here this kind of uh, the head of the hip rod right here it is a ball joint so you can move to the position that you want overall i'm really happy about this hip rod it's just when you're putting on the hip rod it is pretty difficult so you really need to take your time and you need to really have like a very great patient to put every single piece on this time for the Torgus 3 we are not seeing Dobergan anymore this time is this mega beam cannon right here i gotta say that i like this design a lot this design is badass i like it and this time this kind of like a mega beam cannon uh, it doesn't feature like remove the cap or something like that if you really want to talk about remove the cap this blue piece right here is actually is energy cap but it's it's already locked inside the pieces so you can't pull it out and other than that look at the details on the uh, mega beam cannon right here especially the decals i really like it and then switch it to another side we can see this piece right here it features the same thing where you can hang on to the shoulders of the torques free which i will do it later on both the mega beam cannon and the shield as well this handle right here this time is not a ball joint anymore it's a uh it's just a very simple joint where you can move front to back as well if you're putting on if you try to put on the mega beam cannon on the hands i just i suggest you just pull out the handle snap those hands on and then just put it back in uh it was it will make your life easier trust me uh other than that uh this mega beam cannon can extend just like in the ova so just slide out this small piece at the tip right here and then you just move out the pieces right here and there you go the mega beam cannon is already extend uh and it looks really good i gotta say that the part that i like about this rg is this mega beam cannon right here it looks awesome actually to put on the mega beam cannon and the shield is pretty simple so the mega beam cannon was will be located at the right side of the torgis and then the shield will be located at the left side of the uh talk is free as well so it's pretty simple uh how you do uh what you done to the double gun and the sh uh, and the round shield to the talk is one talk is two you just basically did it to this talk is free right here it is pretty simple just find a joint and slide uh, and then just plug it in it's pretty simple anyway guys this is the end of the video thank you guys for watching at the end of the video i put all three of my togis together you guys can tell me in the comments which togis did you like the most do you like the og regular release togis one do you like the togis two do you like the togis three tell me in the comments and i seriously recommend you guys buy the rg togis three because first you see like uh, a you know appearance changes you can you can actually enjoy the uh very cheap version of togis free because the mg version is so expensive and i'm not really recommend you to throw money at it uh other than that uh i mean it's a pretty good rg so why not just get one and have fun and uh, thank you guys for watching my reviews uh be sure to leave a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever i upload a video and i'll see you guys in the next review goodbye